Next, engineers started to come up with new ideas by transforming motorized microscopes into fully automated instruments. Their goal was to create systems that were more stable and reliable and could perform complex imaging tasks without any human intervention. This led to a complete redesign of motorized microscopes, which now had sophisticated control software to manage various functions seamlessly. These advanced microscopes can now handle microtiter plates from automated plate feeders, which makes it easier to run screening campaigns or so-called screening campaigns. These systems were designed to operate without the human on the loop and they did this pretty well. The engineers had different ideas about how to approach this development journey based on their design philosophies. Some engineers went for simplicity. They modified existing microscopes by removing the binoculars and enclosed the microscope within a protective box. This practical, practical approach seen in tools like the array scan aimed to combine automation with the original microscope design. On the other hand, some engineers went for a more radical transformation right from the start. Um, they came up with a complete redesign, making the instrument fully robotic, like universal imaging or molecular devices. This shows how different engineering strategies developed during the evolution of high content imaging. The simpler changes were faster and cheaper in production. The complete redesigns were more complex and required more resources, but they led to highly specialized instruments for robotic operation. Both strategies made a big impact on the field, pushing the boundaries of what automated imaging systems could achieve. The automation of the system has completely transformed scientific research, scientific cell-based research, making it possible to collect high-quality data quickly and reliably.